Well, welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. My tomatoes are doing really well today. Um, this one seems to wanna, <laughs> it's attracted to this one, but um, it's kind of coming over. So I, I, I probably need to put out another string here to keep it over, but that's okay. They're all doing really well. I've got quite a few flowers coming forth, but none of them are producing yet. It's just a little hot still. Uh, plus the one, this is the, the cherry tomato. Okay, it's called Sweetie is the, the name of it, but um, it's not really fully shaded like the other ones. If I pulled this out, you can see it's shaded, but it doesn't want to be. So this one is getting more sun. I think um, that's probably why these aren't, um, it's just a little too hot. Over 90 degrees, I read that tomato uh, tomatoes don't tend to produce their, their fruit. Um, so that that could be the issue and it is over 90 it's like 100 every day same thing with these now i i think those tend to be pretty decent with the with the sun um, with the heat so maybe they will once it starts dropping we're going to be in the 90s next week today's uh, this week is over 100 and same with last week but they're all doing really well there's the sweeties these are the um oh what is it called i'm forgetting the name um uh, brandy wine. They're brandy wines. They're the biggest ones. These are the San Marzano's um, And then this is uh, Cherokee purple uh, one of my favorites. I love Cherokee purple tomatoes. I've grown them before and They're one of my favorite eating. I like slicing them putting them on sandwich like a Capri sandwich. They're really good in um, uh, BLTs and stuff like that. Well, anyway guys, I just want to show you guys an update on my tomatoes here and how they're doing um I will see you guys on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.